to start recording, you need to have this track selected. If you're selected on here and you try and record, it won't let you. So make sure this is selected. When you're ready to record, make sure that your headset has been put in and you are ready to start. Start by clicking the red button and you will see these bars move up and down. You want to talk slowly and clearly and if you make a mistake, don't worry, keep going, we can cut it out. When you're finished, you can press either button, but if you press this one, notice this red line keeps going. To stop it, you hit here. Hit record to record. The blue button to stop is the easiest way. So now, let's say you realize you really didn't like what you had just done. You can click on it, hit delete on your keyboard. But let's say halfway through you had sneezed. So find that red cursor, find that red line, and move it to wherever you think you had done that sneeze or whatever you had messed up on. And make sure you've selected the actual recording. If it's light purple, it won't let you do anything. It doesn't know what you're telling it. But if you select it, then you can go up to Edit, Split, click away and click on the one that you don't want, hit delete on your keyboard. So now let's say you have a wonderful recording. You're going to want to make sure that you have your artwork move so it lines up. You don't want to have artwork going on for another 20 seconds while your voice recording has stopped. Pull all that over. There's also something way off to the side you want to make sure you've done. Up here it's a triangle. Move that over. Takes a little bit. There we go. So now I've got that triangle at least a little closer. And the, the next thing you want to make sure you do is lock it. Just like that. If you want to go back and record something, that's fine. You can unlock it. But this way, at least you won't accidentally copy over your recording. 